Hey guys, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. As I promised, we're going to plant um, lettuces like I plant them. And this is actually where I plant them. This is a cold weather area in my garden. What does that mean? It means that while it gets sun, it's not full sun in the hottest days. This way I could keep lettuce growing or any cool weather like my cilantro um to last longer so with that being said you could see the big hedge behind it there's like millions of bunnies in there they run around everywhere but they don't get in here when i grow anything out of the allium family such as onions garlics leeks so i'll show you how i do it um let me talk first though now I go and I buy these cheap bags of onion sets and I just basically scatter them, throw them, and where they land, that's where they go. And um, that way it, they um, make a barrier all the way around. Except this won't work yet if you have lettuce. If you're starting from seeds, that's great. So then you could buy onions like this or leeks these are actually leeks but um you could buy onions like this too you need to start with some of these whether it's leeks or the onion sets this way that way you already have the smell of onion and there's one more thing you could plant you could plant garlic and I just go to the store and I buy garlic. I don't go to the nursery for this one. Same thing. Now, garlic works even better once it starts going. And I don't care what kind, time of the year it is. Everybody says, oh, it has to have that cold thing. You can put it in the fridge if you want it. But I'm growing it just for the foliage, just to keep the bunnies away. And I'll show you I have some that have blasted. The reason why that anything out of the allium keeps the bunnies away, because it's poisonous to them, they know, is they have sulfur compounds in them. These sulfur compounds is what gives it the smell. It's actually poisonous. That's why your eyes water. And you want your eyes to water because it's putting a film to protect your eyes. Now, garlic has the most sulfur compounds. And so I always do a whole barrier all the way around the whole thing with this. And, um, and I love garlic tops anyway. It's like chives. It's perfect. I do a lot of Asian dishes. Perfect. So, now, and... If you don't want plant, plant onions, everybody has wild onions. I also take a whole bunch and I chop it up and I sprinkle around until everything grows. But let me show you. Okay, you won't see me as much, but what I do is I take garlic and I just basically put a barrier all the way around. Then I take my leeks and leeks are taller so I kind of put them back here as well. And can you see how the parsley comes back? The second year for it. So it's the final year for it. Then I just take a handful of these and I just and then I just take a screwdriver and I just work it in and this works so well and I have been planting lettuce in this area I, as long as I remember at this farm so 
Now, can you see over here? This is um, garlic from last year. So it's already coming up. And um, the bunnies already smell this. Let me finish this real quick. Okay, so I'm done. Now, these are the wild onions that I just go out in the yard and get them. And I just basically cut these up and I'm, I'm just throwing these, but normally I cut them up and I just sprinkle them around until all the other onions and garlic and leeks, anything from the allium family starts growing. And it really makes a difference. Now, um, let me know if it works for you. There's other things that we're gonna do later on this summer after you harvest your onions. So um, I'll show you that. But also I have a 60 second short on what to do about landscape fabric. Do we use it? Do we don't? What's another option? I'll see you then. This is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Please tell all your friends and subscribe. Always free. Have a great day.